Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Line Heart 84. Uh, now, as I'm sure you'll probably be aware, April is absolutely not the time to be thinking about repotting an American pawpaw, that's a Semina triloba. Um, they should really only be planted or repotted ideally when they're um, completely dormant. And this plant, as you can probably see, is now coming into life, but I just haven't had time this spring with so much on and Sundays being messed up. I haven't had the time to repot it and it didn't really do very well last year because I think uh, that the compost in the pot was probably very water logged at times and it's probably pot bound. So I thought it'd be a good chance to take it out of the pot and investigate the um, the situation with the roots on these because uh, I'm sure a lot of people will be aware you theoretically can't grow pawpaw in containers because they're particularly large taproot plants. So I thought it'd be interesting to see what the form of the roots uh, what the form of the roots is on this uh, particular plant. Um, if it's got a tap root that's been winding itself round the pot, or if it's developed more of a fibrous root system because it's been in the pot. So um, I'm going to take the opportunity to put it into a much larger pot, which should help the roots better, and put it into a, a lighter, more open, free draining soil because I think the plant needs all the help it can get when it's. Um, when it's growing uh, in these sort of conditions. Now there's been a lot of ants on this pot, so I suspect I'm gonna find a largish ants nest in it um, when I take it out of the pot. But what I want to see is what sort of root formation is on it. So I thought we'll have a look, see if we can pop it out and have a look. a bit closer see if you can see it there appears to be possibly the remains of one or two tap roots here but it doesn't seem to have caused a major problem in fact I put a load of um, granite at the top of this one to help with the drainage and uh, that's not necessarily always help the roots are quite nicely mixed throughout the pot actually so what I'm going to do is break off I want to break some of this surface off firstly, get the weeds off the top of the pot. Strangely, I thought I was going to be chased by loads of ants, but I haven't been. I'm going to loosen off the granite. I'm not going to bother with this next time because I think I can just put a nice open free draining soil. And I'm not altogether sure these stones at the bottom have actually helped the root system. Um, it seems to have multiple reasonable size roots at the bottom of the pot. I don't know if you'll be able to see it uh, or not very clearly. I'll lift it forwards in a minute. So I'm quite pleased actually because it's not quite as uh, it's not quite as heavy and waterlogged as I thought it was going to be. But clearly, it's uh, it's very very root bound. However, the roots. <laughs> I would say it's sort of almost multiple tap rooted if you like, if you can see what the roots like on this. So I'm just going to take the opportunity to shake off some of this loose soil. Lots of fibrous roots on the top, which are sort of a feeder root, I would say. And as I said, there's there's a there's several larger roots at the bottom rather than one main tap root and it's certainly not called itself round the pot because several people I was several people I've been talking to were concerned that there'd be a single tap root and the plant would strangle itself in the pot but that doesn't appear to have been the case at all so far. So I'm gonna go ahead with the growing it in a container and we're gonna switch it from that size to this size. Ah. Let's see if we can quickly get some compost into this. I'll drop this down a little bit now so you can see what I'm doing a bit better. Ah. I need to make sure that it's obviously 
at the same sort of height was an existing pot with room for just a little bit of top dressing so I've put quite a lot more bark and perlite into this as well as some peat so it's nice and uh, light so let's see how we are height wise need to go a bit higher than that best way to do it is probably to hold the plant up as I put the soil in I'm actually very happy with it we're going to make sure I give it a good watering in the hope minimise his uh, root shock. Now this one, if I didn't say earlier in the video, this is a grafted variety, this is Pennsylvania Golden. Originally came from uh, Lubera. So I'm really hoping this one survives and starts flowering. Obviously it'll be the perfect cross pollinator for my Prima, as far as I'm concerned. I didn't want to overfeed the plant, but I have mixed a little bit of I've mixed a little bit of bone meal and chicken manure into uh, into the new compost here. We'll give it a good tap to settle it. You can probably see there I come a little bit higher on the compost. We might not be able to see because the label could be in the way. So I'm quite happy, I hope I haven't disturbed the roots too much. It was certainly a bit drier than I expected. I was worried it was going to be very, very waterlogged. So that's how to repot um, an American pawpaw, which is not something that you'd normally be considered growing in containers, but I've got no in-ground space, so I've got no choice. Um, plus a look at the roots which I thought might interest people but there, there wasn't one large tap root on this plant it had several thicker roots and I think for that reason it should carry on taking quite well to uh, growing in a container this plant's uh, just over a metre tall now so uh, just over three feet and these are the first flowers it's had on it they may well drop off now from the shock of repotting but I'll give it a good watering just to see because if they hold I can use them I don't want them to set fruit on this plant because it's, it's, it will be suffering from shock from the transplant but if I can use the pollen to pollinate some of my prima flowers that should um, should theoretically ensure a better fruit set anyway thanks for watching the video hope it wasn't too uh, long for you that's repotting my uh, Pennsylvania golden shouldn't be too heavy because it's put a, got a nice light compost in it so um, please remember to give me a thumbs up you can share the video if you think it might be useful to anybody at all um, please subscribe to my channel if anything I'm growing interests you and um, you're welcome to ask questions which I'll try and answer as soon as I get a chance and hopefully I'll have the right answers and remember to um, click on the bell if you like to get updates on new videos as they come out which will include obviously my American pawpaws. I'll catch up with you on the next video. Brett out for now.